for uh, ice like this, so I could skate. Oh, that's awesome. Man, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's good. Big one? Oh, fat. Double headed, huh? Lake Erie, where men are men and fish are afraid. Hi, folks, and welcome once again to Get Real Fishing. I'm your host, Captain Dave Adrian, bringing you some of the most exciting angling adventures in western New York. In this episode, we venture out onto a frozen Lake Erie to target yellow perch through the ice. Using state-of-the-art ice fishing gear, we travel across 18 to 24 inch thick ice in February to locate loosely concentrated schools of perch. Fishing primarily from heated portable huts designed for ice fishing and using gas-powered augers, we were able to set up and start fishing in only about 20 minutes. And here's Vinny Costello using a gas engine powered auger to quickly drill six to eight holes in the ice. He then sets up his hut, which takes only a few minutes, but will protect him from the 17 degree wind chill all day long. We're fishing on a frozen eastern basin of Lake Erie. Setting out from Hamburg Beach, we traveled four or five miles west to reach the 48 to 55 foot depths where perch typically can be found during the winter months. Just pack some snow around the edges and fire up your propane heater, and soon you have a warm, comfortable enclosure from which to pursue these elusive but great tasting fish. <laughs> Primary bait of choice, emerald shiners. It's good for it Just take a minute to scoop the ice debris out of the hole and you're ready to fish. But you'll notice the fish you see them on it. Uh, when you see them on the screen, if they come into your bait and you start to jig it, they don't like it. They, want it they still. like it still. They're almost dead. You attract them when you don't see no fish around by jigging. We didn't really have much action at our first location, so we packed up and headed east to where Joe and Dave thought we might have better luck. This is where the GPS comes in handy. Number two. After catching a second fish in this new spot, we cut some more holes and began to set up camp where we would stay and fish the remainder of that day. Everyone starts, many holes over here. Everyone starts crowding around. And patience finally pays off as we see a nice fish moving painfully slow into the viewing area. Notice how little effort is expended as the perch appears to check out the bait for quite a while until he finally engulfs the shiner with one swift motion. That fish looked at it for the longest time. Huh? You got him, Ben? Yeah, I watched it through there. It was neat. One fish. Oh, nice one, too. What a hog. <laughs> Fat slob, man. Show me that fish. Where do you think that'll go? Pounder. Here a couple of perch move in and out of the viewing range while Vinny lowers some fresh bait. You can see by the amount of wiggling the emerald shiner goes through, it's not necessary to impart too much jigging action into the live bait presentation. Meanwhile, the Joe and Dave team are regularly picking up fish. Action continued to improve as we were joined by Dennis Darling and Kevin Cherry. All right, we're looking at Dennis's hut now. This is the elite model. And he's got number two on. This one isn't as big. Half a pound. Oh, Vinny. You got him. We throw those back where I come from. Yeah, me too. I'm going to throw them back over there. 
Another one. Two, three. They're all over the place, boys. School in. You got another one? Yeah, I got one more. Nice one. I about a pound. You only catch nice ones. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful. Here we see several fish moving in simultaneously, honing in on one minnow. But note how the perch closest to the bait appears to attack only when the others get too close. This is why it is best to keep as many baited rigs in the water as possible. Dennis, you're pounding them. I got only two, Dave. Two. Oh, okay. Two better than none, right? That's right. As we always say, it's better than a sharp stick in the eye. It's not a bad one. First size. Yeah. Not long after they started, Dennis and Kevin seemed to have a hot hand. See? Huh? Picked that right off the bottom. It looked like. Is that on the so you saw it on the camera? Yes. Cool. Oh, there's one. Coming in. There's one. Oh my god, yeah. Babe, you got that on action, huh? Dennis, you're pounding. There's one. Oh, you guys got the hot hand. Alright. This might be the pig of the day here if I don't. <laughs> you gotta watch your mouth, Kevin. Sorry. <laughs> true sound like a true fisherman. Oh, oh yeah. Not bad. That makes oh, up. Nice. Here, hold it up. Here, hold it up. Here, hold it up. Nice catch. Boy. Not bad, Kevin. You don't like that all day. You don't catch many, but you catch the big one. Let's take a look at that one. This is a decent fish. This we caught on camera earlier. Yeah. It's okay. We're gonna get back to it. See if we can't pound a few more. <laughs> I'm a hero. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Look at that. <laughs> See that? Oh. Bad knees and all. Dave, Dave goes down for the fish. You know. <laughs> Look at that. This is a fish. How does it feel like to fill a fish with real fish? Yeah. Huh? Lake Erie, where men are men and fish are afraid. Came off at the hole. Yeah. Oh, fat. Double header, huh? <laughs> Nice. That's more like it. Big fish of the day. That is a hog. That's a hog. These are the Lake Erie perch, which caught the slabs out of Lake Erie. Turn them on. Yeah, there we go. What okay. do you think that go? Pound, get, pound and a quarter? bigger than this. About a pound and a half. Pound here. 13 inches, 12 inches. Approximately. And we got what, 65 of those today? Yeah, I got about 50. <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Vinny Costello, Joe Smith, and Dave Skinner for allowing me to tag along for this interesting look at Lake Erie ice fishing for perch. And look for future ice fishing shows, including one on Lake Simcoe in Canada. Hey, thanks for watching Get Real Fishing, folks, and thanks for all the great feedback. If you have any questions or if you would like us to film your unique fishing adventure, please email us at aquachart at AOL.com.